So let me tell you the story of 2020 SO, an asteroid, specifically a near-Earth asteroid, an asteroid that come very close to our planet, that was discovered in August 2020 by the Hawaiian Ground Base Telescope called PenStars-1. After spotted 2020 SO, astronomers observed it continuously and estimated that this small 5-meter asteroid will pass nearby our planet on December 1, 2020. So several amateur astronomers and professional astronomers around the world, including members of the Unistellar Network, collaborated in an effort to capture the, an image of this asteroid to refine its orbit. And one of them got it. So Mario Biliani, a Unistellar citizen astronomer uh, located in Vienna, captured this asteroid. I'm going to show you a picture of it uh, from, from his house. This was a very challenging observation since the target is quite faint. For, the, for those who know, it's basically estimated to a magnitude of 15. And this is a small 4.5-inch uh, telescope. And it was moving very fast in the sky because it was close to us. So in partnership with our science team at the SETI Institute, Mario learned how to calculate the location of the asteroid from his place and using the NASA JPL ephemeris, calculated the celestial coordinates. He used these celestial coordinates into the, syst the unistellar net uh, system and observed this asteroid. And here are the, basically a view of the asteroid passing by. So this observation is useful scientifically. It was reported in the Minor Planet Center together with others collected almost at the same time, and that will help us to refine the orbit of 2020 SO. So the orbit of this asteroid is extremely interesting. I think I'm not I'm, I'm pretty sure I've not seen something like this before. Uh, this body will enter in the uh, as enter in the, what we call the Hill sphere, which is the gravitational sphere of influence of our our own planet. So after this flyby, he's now going, drifting away from our planet, and I'm showing you a video at the moment, and coming back to us in February 2021. He will leave the system Earth's moon in March. So this orbit is so weird that there is a very strong suspicion that this asteroid is, is not in fact a relic of the formation of our solar system, but, but instead a human-made object. Uh, quickly after this discovery, astronomers pointed out this bizarre orbit. They show, for instance, that uh, it's extremely slow compared to other asteroids we have seen in this, uh, in this population. It's 10 times slower than most NEAs. Uh, they also measure a small deflection of the orbit, like if the asteroid was being pushed by the solar, solar wind. And this is visible mostly when the, when the body is hollow, meaning that this maybe is not an asteroid, but the upper stage of a center rocket, which was uh, used to launch the NASA Surveyor 2 mission in 1966. 50 years later, this rocket part is coming back to us, describing this very weird orbit. So how could we know 100% that this is truly a rocket? Well, one possibility is to observe directly, to image the asteroid, 2020 SO. This is possible only if you have a very large aperture telescope, like an 8-meter class telescope equipped with adaptive optics. And this is possible only when the asteroid is very close to us. Another way is to continue to observe the, the asteroids over the next six months to be able to detect this small deflection and confirm the presence of this hollowness inside the asteroid. We will know then for sure that it's not an asteroid, but a, a rocket. But yesterday, a team used another technique. They announced, in fact, uh, this is a team led by Vishnu Reddy from the University of Arizona. They announced that they used the NASA IRTF telescope located in Hawaii on the top of the Mauna Kea to take what we call a spectrum. So what they did, they observed the asteroid and they, they decomposed this light into a large range of colors. And they compared those colors with colors of a central rocket booster 
located in geostationary orbit that was launched in 1971. And they found out that Spock spectra are very identical, suggesting that 2020 SO is indeed a rocket part. This is an interesting result that needs to be confirmed. We had thought we had found a new moon for Earth, but in fact, this could be maybe simply a trash, a space trash um, that we left in our solar system, which is coming back to us. It's definitely less appealing and romantic, but that's the reality. But if you missed it, don't worry, it's coming back, as I say, in February 2021 and you may be able to observe it with a telescope. And in any case, look up, enjoy the universe. As you know, it's always full of mystery. Thank you.